Yes, kids, uh, as we have discussed about already concave mirror, uh, just I want to show you how this looks. Okay, uh, as you can see, it is bulges inwards, bending inwards, and uh, if we draw like this, you have to think, you have to keep in your mind that this is mirror. Okay, so in this class, we will discuss about rules to draw ray diagrams for concave mirror. Okay, there are six cases. In that six cases, if you wanted to draw a ray diagram, very important to know the rules. Okay, there are four rules. Rule number one we will consider first. Rule number one states that if the ray is parallel to principal axis, parallel to principal axis, principal axis. After reflection, after reflection, it passes through, it passes through focus. Very important. I used word called reflection because this reflection occurs in mirror. Okay. So we will draw the diagram for this. Very important. These are like this. Uh, here we will learn four rules to draw ray diagrams. So first one is this. So I'll draw a mirror now. This is a concave mirror. Keep in your mind it, it is bulging inwards. Okay. So I'll draw principal axis. Okay. As it is center of the mirror, pole, focus, and center of curvature. Okay. As we are learning here, if the ray is parallel to principal axis. If the ray is parallel to principal axis, very important, this is incident ray. That is parallel to principal axis. After reflection, after reflection, it will pass through focus. It will pass through focus. Okay, this is reflected ray. Okay, this is rule number one. Then we go for rule number two. Rule number two. Right? Rule number two, opposite of this. Okay. If the ray is passing through, passing through focus, it will be parallel to principal axis. After diagram for this. So we will draw a concave mirror and we will block this so that light should not go and we will draw a principal axis. This is focus. This is center of courage. Okay. Capital F. If the ray is passing through focus, it will be parallel. This is incident ray. This is reflected ray. Okay. Exactly. We will go to third rule. So that is rule number three. Okay. Very, very important, very easy. If the ray is passing through, passing through center of curvature, center of curvature, it retraces, it retraces it's path. Okay? So, we draw the data. First, we draw concave mirror. And we block this. So, that light should not go. This is the principal axis. This is focus. This is center of curvature. Okay? So, we increase the size of the mirror. Right? Okay. If the ray is passing through center of curvature, it retraces its path. This is third law. Okay. Fourth law, as you are learning from your uh, seventh, sixth classes also, very important. Rule number four. If the ray, if the ray is incident on, incident on pole of the mirror, pole of the mirror, it reflects such that angle i is equal to angle r. Diagram will draw concave mirror. 
principal axis focus center of curvature if the insert if the ray which falls on the pole this is pole okay it reflects such a way that angle i is equal to angle r so angle i is equal to angle r okay these are the four cases if you know these four cases easily you can draw the ray diagrams which are related to concave mirrors in next class we will see that how to draw ray diagrams using these laws using these rules okay there are six cases that we will discuss in next class thank you have a nice day